Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the SQL coding questions which were asked in the assimilation test of Cognizant. This is part two of the SQL coding question. Part one has already been uploaded on my channel. You can see here that in this playlist that is Cognizant assimilation test questions Java slash SQL SQL three parts of the Java coding questions have been covered. That is three questions of Java has been covered. And in SQL, this is the second video for the SQL coding questions in assimilation test. So guys, if you have not watched the rest of the video, video the link of this playlist I will give in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it. And guys, if you have not subscribed this channel till now, please subscribe it because more such uh, assimilation test questions I will be posting on this channel so do not miss any of these updates so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button okay so guys total two Java uh, SQL coding questions I will be discussing in this video so make sure to watch this video till the end so the first question uh, SQL question is active backlogs so there is a database with two tables relating to students at a school now each student has a unique ID there is a backlog table that maintains a record of active backlogs for each student. Okay. So what it is saying, it is saying that see, there, is, there are two tables that are given. One is the student table, which has ID as well as the name of the student. Another one is the backlog table, which in which uh, the, the those students are present, uh, which contains uh, those, uh, those contain have uh, those have backlogs. So in second table, uh, SID is given that is student ID that has backlog and uh, in the second column that is the back column number of backlogs are given. So I hope these two tables are clear to you. Now what we have to do? We have to write a query to print the names of the students who have active backlog. The name should be printed in ascending order. The result should be in the following format that is name. So only single column has to be printed. So we have to print the student name who has an active backlog. So what does it mean? So how we will do it? See. We have a uh, name is given in this particular table and we can find that whether that student has a backlog or not uh, backlog or not that is present in this this table. So what we have to do we have to first join these two tables and then what we have to do we have to find those student name which have an active backlog. So it means that those students ID those student ID that are present in this table that is the backlog table it means that since the ids are present student ids are present in this table it means that those students have an active backlog so what we'll do we will fetch the ids from this backlog table and uh, we will find the names corresponding to those ids from this table so now i hope the entire concept is clear to you that how we will be doing it so i will repeat again we have to find the name of the students who have an active backlog so it means that the students which have an active backlog must have their student IDs present in this table. So what we'll do, we'll fetch the uh, we'll fetch the IDs from this table, and uh, we will fetch the uh, corresponding ID name from this table. So now I hope the question is clear to you. Now we'll straight away move to the uh, 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 query that how we will have to write the query. Okay, so guys, uh, this is an online compare that I'm using. So here I have created two tables. You do not have to create your tables. You just have to write the query in the exam. So we have created two tables. You can see student and backlog. So uh, here uh, in student table, there is ID and the name of the student that is present. And in the backlog table, there is the ID of the student as well as the number of backlogs that are uh, uh, that that student have. So what we have to do, we have to find the names of those students which have a backlog. So what we'll do, we'll first fetch the IDs from this table. We'll first fetch the IDs from this backlog table and then corresponding to those IDs, we will be fetching the names from the uh, this above table. So how will uh, first let's just fetch the IDs. So uh, here you can see that uh, two, three, five are the IDs. So first we have to fetch the IDs. So what we'll do, we have to give select ID. That is the name of the column uh, that is given. Uh, so what is the name of the column in the backlog table you can see it is id only so select first you have to fetch the id select id from backlog so once we will run this command you will see that this 235 ids will be coming to us so 235 ids will be coming to us now what we'll do we have to find using these ids we have to find their corresponding names so what we'll do the names have to be found from this table so what we'll do we will let's just skip this part let's just uh, forget this particular uh, let's just forget this particular uh, query now what we'll do we'll simply do select we have to select the names so select name and from which table we can select name that is student table so select name from student now we have the ids we have the ids and we have to select the names corresponding to those ids 
सो सिलेक्ट नेम फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट वेयर वेयर आई डी इन एंड वेयर आई डी इन एंड वी विल गिव दिस एंटायर स्टेटमेंट इट इज सिलेक्ट आई डी फ्रॉम बैकलॉग इन दी दिस ब्रैकेट सो वट इट विल डू नाउ इट विल फैच ऑल द नेम्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस आई डीज लेट जस्ट रन इट यू विल सी दी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग नेम्स टू थ्री फाइव द नेम्स आर लूसी फ्रैंक एंड रॉबर्ट यू कैन सी लूसी फ्रैंक एंड रॉबर्ट हैव बिन प्रिंटेड सो नाउ वन मोर थिंग वॉज गिवन टू अस दैट वी हैव टू प्रिंट दी नेम्स इन दी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो इट वॉज गिवन हेयर सो प्रिंटेड इन दी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो वट विल डू वी विल नॉट डू एनी थिंग वी विल इन दी एंड वी विल राइट ऑर्डर बाय एंड बाय विच कॉलम वी हैव टू सॉर्ट दी नेम्स इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इट इज नेम सो ऑर्डर बाय नेम एंड वेन वी विल रन इट यू विल सी दैट ऑल दी नेम्स विल बी सॉर्टेड इन दी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर so first frank will come then lucy then robert so you can see that these are the required output that we have to use so this query only this query you will have to write in the exam other tables will be formed by uh, them only uh, by the uh, it will be you just have to implement the function that is you simply have to write the query so now this query will uh, pass all the test cases that will be given to you and this question is done for you so i hope this question was clear to you so guys if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe it and if you have not liked the video till now please like it now we will move into the second and the last question of this video okay so guys the second question and the last question of this video is the, uh, the name of the question is scores now the match scores of each student have been stored in a student table so one table is given to us and in this uh, table the id of the student is given name of the student is given and the match score of that student is given write a query to print the id and the name of each of the three highest scoring students print the names in the descending order by score then ascending order by id for matching scores so this line we will take care at the end of the question so let's just first read the first line only the match score of the each student have been stored in a student table write the query to print the id and the name of each of the three highest students so what you have to do we simply have to print the details that is id and the name of the th three toppers of the uh, table that is these students which have scored the uh, highest scores first three we have to print the for first three students we have to print the id and name so let's just see how we can do it this is a simple thing okay so guys uh, in the sql we have a table here you can see that in the first column the ids of the students are given in the second column column the name of the student are given and in the third column the scores of the students are given so we have to print the details that is id and name of the top 3 students uh, corresponding to their marks so how we will do it first of all what we will do we will sort this entire table we will sort this entire table based on the marks so what should be our end end result we have to print id and name of the top 3 students so uh, this lucy will be printed uh, then second highest is jane then robert so details id and name of these th people will be printed this is our end result so how we will reach to our end result what we'll do we'll sort the entire values we'll sort the entire tables based on the marks based on the marks and what we'll do we'll pick the top 3 we'll pick the id and the name of the top 3 so let's just see how we'll do it so what we have to print first select id comma name these are the fields that you have to print in the end uh, from what is the name of the table from student and now what we have to do we have to so sort this entire table based on the marks so order by order by marks that is what is the name of the column uh, score so order by score and in descending order because we want that the top scorer should be present at the uh, first row of the table so uh, order by score in descending order now see this entire uh, entire table has been sorted in the descending order but we want only top 3 rows so what we'll do we'll simply do limit 3 so now what this will give so limit 3 so this will sort the entire this will sort the entire table and it will pick up the top 3 rows that is we will get our top 3 scorers and from those 3 rows we will print id and name now there was one line that we were missing print the names in the descending order by score then ascending order by id for matching scores so guys if we will just simply print this if we will simply print this you will see, uh, sorry we have to okay so first first of all we have to delete this okay so now let's just execute this statement okay so when we will print this you can see that the our required results are there that is we have we have to uh, uh, we want that top 3 scorers should be printed so lucy was top scorer then jane then robert but you will uh, in the table you can see that uh, lucy jane and robert had all the different scores but let's suppose what will happen when it will be 107 here so when it is it will be 107 here so when we will execute it 
when we will execute the again the statement will execute the result remains same but their scores are same so in this case what we have to do we were earlier only sorting uh, uh, only sorting on the basis of score but then we have to sort in the base uh, after uh, sorting uh, in the descending order by score we want one more thing that if the scores are same it should be automatically sorted from uh, from ids so sort by de descending uh, score comma id so once we will do it it will be done uh, id will be pre present in the so once the score are same then the uh, names will be sorted in the form of the ascending order of id so this is a required result and this is what query you will have to write because the tables will be formed will already be formed when the question will be given to you so guys these were two questions i hope it will help you in your exam so guys if you have not liked the video till now and if you have not subscribed it please do those both things and please share this video among your friends and guys thank you for watching it and do watch the entire playlist uh, of the assimilation test questions i hope it will help you thank you for watching it